hi everyone welcome to my channel again today in this tutorial i am showing how you can reset the password of root and administrator of any linux distributions there are multiple ways to do this but today i am showing you how you can do this using the puppy linux so let's begin it so for this i am using a virtual machine and uh, and using the puppy is uh, puppy iso uh, uh, to reset the password of a Linux distributions. I'm using a Ubuntu. You can use any Linux distribution. So let's go to the VM and uh, go to the settings. Select the ISO file, which I have already downloaded. Go to the download section and choose that one and click OK. And now I'm going to restart my Linux distribution. Uh, before that, let's check that uh, what is the size of my drive. It's a 20 gig. So it basically helps us to identify our drive. Now I'm going to restart my Ubuntu XFC distribution. And then I enter into the BIOS mode and make my CD drive as a first boot drive option. Now you can see I have booted the line, uh, Puppy Linux. Okay, just wait for a few seconds. It is going to boot. This is the same procedures you need to do with any physical machines. Uh, I'm just showing this in a, in a virtual environment. But the procedure is the, completely the same. Okay. Let's take a little bit of time. Okay, here we get the Puppy Linux desktop. Just click OK. And close everything here. Now open the terminal. Okay. and from here first we need to check our all the drives so we can use the command lsblk and here you can see my 20 gig drive which assign a sda1 then the partition is sda1 so now we need to mount this partition so before that i make a directory recover under the mount mnt folder now the next thing i'm going to do is mount this sda1 partition which is around 80 gigs over this recover folder so i type a command mount slash dev slash sda1 then space slash mnt slash recover okay so we have mounted it successfully now we need to g root or change root this mnt slash recover now you get some error message please ignore this there's nothing we need to be worried now run the command passwd passwd and they give the username like root and give a new password and confirm the new password again and here we have successfully updated our root password okay let's see that do we have administrator account or not i'm using a grip commands so yeah we have administrator account on the system so let's reset the password of administrator account as well using the same command paswd and then I give a new password and confirm it and that's it now just exit from the ch change root mode now unmount the drive which we have already mounted now you can see that the sda1 is mounted on a slash mnt slash recover folder now i use the command unmount slash mnt slash recover to unmount this folder and then exit it and reboot again
just choose the no option here and again we need to go into the bios mode and this time i make my hard drive as a first bootable drive save the configuration and boot the machine again okay so my ubuntu xfc distribution is booted now i'm just trying with a new password and voila we are able to log in with a new password so this is how it's very simple to reset any user's passwords on the um, Linux distribution without entering into the recover mode and then change the kernel uh, settings, uh, you know, uh, or the GURB settings. So if you have the just the puppy Linux distributions with you, you can do it very simply. And the, why I use the puppy distribution because this footprint footprint is very small it's just a 405 megabit size so you can make a bootable usb drive and use that bootable drive anytime to recover your forgotten password i hope you like this video and thank you to watch my video please like subscribe and share this video with others thank you very much